Hello Urban Explorers. Uh, I'm at the entrance to the Crog Tunnel. I'm on the north side of the tunnel here and I got an update for those that are interested in the Beltline project that's going to be coming through here. Uh, I'm at the corner of Crog Street and DeKalb Avenue and this this intersection right here <clears throat> is going to feature what they call a pedestrian scramble which essentially is a <clears throat> timed uh, signaling system this cycles has different cycles and one of the cycles is that all four ways uh, stop traffic which then allows pedestrians to cross uh, across the street and also diagonally they're going to be diagonal crosswalks right through the middle of this intersection so that's how the pedestrians are going to be able to get over uh, from the north side of DeKalb Avenue which is right where I'm pointing the camera right now that sidewalk on the other side of uh, DeKalb is where the Beltline Trail, that's the biking and walking trail, is going to go. I just learned that right there on the corner of Krog, that's 10 Krog Street uh, building right there, the Beltline apparently ha is purchasing a right-of-way, or a permanent easement, I guess you could call it, that, that goes behind those fire hydrants right there, kind of that whole corner, going back about 20 feet. That's going to be a staging area where bikers and walkers are going to be able to gather and wait for this, scram uh, wait for this scramble crossing to, to cross over. You just saw the light change. Obviously, DeKalb Avenue turned red and Krog turned green. With the new scramble, all, f all uh, four directions will be stopped for traffic. So that's one thing I learned. Um, and just, uh, if you see this video, I'm going to be uh, leading some tours of this area, starting at, at uh, Kirkwood Avenue in... Um, Kirkwood Street in, in Reynolds Town, and I'm going to basically walk everybody right through the entire uh, project here, the new trail, and explain uh, everything I learned, which was a lot. I, I, I was out with the project manager for this, for this project, for this part of the trail uh, earlier today, and I learned a lot. For example, here on the east side of the tunnel, this is the sidewalk. The sidewalk will be the, the trail, the, the, the biking and walking trail. And I measured this, um, this sidewalk today from that wall, which is the left wall of the, of the tunnel, to that uh, pier right there is about six and a half feet. So they've got, that's the, the, basically the width. They are going to put pavers down on this um, sidewalk all the way down, all the way through the tunnel. And they are gonna completely redo these rails on this side and also on the other side that's the west side of the tunnel and then all these lights up along here are going to be redone uh, they're going to put in all new lights which will give much more light on the trail itself and they're saying is going to create a lot of spillover light which will spill over onto the street surface here um, they are going to be asking bikers and walkers, well, bikers, to walk their bicycles through the tunnel. I'm just going to go through the uh, through the tunnel here, and then I'll tell you what's happening on the other side of of the tunnel, which is Wiley Street. That that's another interesting part of the transition here. But again, I'll be doing some walking tours in the next couple of weeks. Uh, they will be closing the corridor between Kirkwood and Wiley in about three weeks, right after Labor, uh, sorry, after Memorial Day. They're going to close that down, and that will be the last time you get a chance to go through that part of the quarter. They'll be taking the rails out all the way along Stein Steel there between Kirkwood and Wiley. So I'm going to run some hikes and some tours in the evening uh, where we'll get a chance to, to see those tracks for the last time. And we'll also learn uh, all, all the details that I found out today about the construction, the timing, some of the details that are happening, for example, right here on the other side of the tunnel, I just uh, now coming out onto Wiley Street, they're going to be putting in some new drainage uh, systems that are going to hopefully mitigate the flooding that occurs right now uh, of the Krog Tunnel. So lots of interesting things uh, to share with you. And again, I'll be posting this corner uh, is actually going to remain. Th that All that plant material right there is going to remain. The trail is going to continue right where I'm at now, which is the east side of the tunnel. And then it's going to turn left right here where the sidewalk goes. And this sidewalk from here all the way down to Kirkwood is going to be widened to 10 feet. 
So they're actually going to widen, they're going to take the curb, which is right here, they're going to take that curb out about two feet out into the road and they're going to widen this and there's going to be a planting zone, kind of what they call a, a natural plant buffer between the trail and uh, the street. <clears throat> the um, All these trees, unfortunately, right here, these pines are going to have to come out and they have basically up to the wall, which is the uh, Halsey Yard there. So lots of interesting things to share. Be on the lookout for these events. Uh, they're going to be coming fast here because, again, they're going to be closing that that part of the corridor. Uh, they're going to close the, the Kirkwood to Wiley uh, right after Memorial Day. So there you have it. That's the latest from the Atlanta Beltline, the new extension of the East Side Trail to the south.